Right, welcome back to another TK421 Collectibles video. Been ages since Mando Season 2. We've had Book of Boba, we've had Kenobi. Uh, I forgot this was coming. TMS032 Dark Trooper. Uh, some, from the photos, it, it looks like it might not be that good. Bit basic, innit? It looks like, but let's crack it open, have a look. TK421, why aren't you at your post? Because I'm busy buying collectibles, sir. Okay, let's have a look at this. I'm actually getting quite excited now because it's um, it feels weighty, you know, like it's going to be, I think it's die cast metal, some of it, if not all of it, I don't know yet. So, picture on the side, looking pretty cool. And there you go, the, the banner, Mandalorian sort of banner. Dark Trooper, let's get this open. Here's the art inlay card, just all stood in a row. And I might actually be getting another one from uh, The Good, The Bad, The Robots, a UK supplier. I think I pre-ordered it with them, so I could have two <laughs> in the collection, which might be look pretty good actually. Um, but I'm currently be between Moff Gideon's because I, I sold him, but I have ordered him from uh, the Good, the Bad, the Robots too, so that should be coming soon. And there's the figure covered in plastic. Let's get him out and have a proper look at the accessories. I don't think there's many of them. Okay, let's have a look at the accessories. So we start with the uh, the blaster, almost looks like a shotgun. Um, with the, that bit there, that's silver. Some good weathering on that, looking good. And the scope, and you what? This is magnetized, so it sticks to the his leg. Um, but you also get this if you wanted to put the magazine uh, ammo onto the, the gun. So you just click it in like that. Looking pretty cool. And then we get a set of hands. Now at first I thought these were like articulated, but they are not articulated like K2SOs. So uh, don't try and bend them because you'll snap the fingers. So you got a pointy one. Oh no, it's a weapon holding hand, isn't it? Pointy one. Um, a fist. Obviously when he's bashing Mando's head in. Oops. Uh, and another fist. And that is it for the hands. So you get six hands. And then the Dark Trooper base, got that standard, standard Imperial sort of base, and the standard grabber. Let's have a look at the figure. All right, let's have a close look at this figure. Look at this. So it does, it does look amazing up close. Um, that is looking ace. That head sculpt, and you can take that top off. Uh, batteries in the head which light up the eyes, pop them in a, in a minute. So that's similar to K2SO. Um, it looks looks good how you, you connect the head on, uh, how you connect the top on. And there's no obvious kind of seam there. Yeah, it's quite stiff to turn, but that is looking scary, <laughs> scary good. So he's, he's heavy as well. Um, so working down the figure then, got his breastplate and everything again this all lights up because he's I think there's a battery pack in the back I'm gonna have to look at the instructions in a minute but um, and these these joints are metal uh, and I think all oh, that in there is metal as well basically anything silver is die cast metal now there's a bit here that just looking at the instructions you take that out and you're supposed to be able to detach the top of the body and it says interchangeable with upcoming accessories. Now, I really don't know what that means. If anyone knows what that means in the comments, give me a shout. Uh, <laughs> it might just be me being stupid, but yeah, I'm not sure what it means by that. Yeah, again, so all these joints are metal. This is, the, the legs are plastic. Um, but the actual joint bits are metal. And again, metal metal joints at the ankles but I mean look at the detail in, in this the, like the leg kind of mechanism in there it looks amazing some uh, some detail gone into that isn't there and all in all these pistons and stuff in here it's like details that I, I never really picked up on in the uh, in the show it's too busy too busy fighting aren't they? you don't really get a good close-up look at like the middle bit and like these pistons in here, looking amazing. Yeah, that, again the hands here, they aren't, aren't articulated, so you've just got a pair of relaxed hands that come on with the figure out of the box. All the details on the back. The back of the 
the legs as well, all the details around there on the silver stuff. Looking fantastic. So let's let's pop the batteries in and have a look at have a look at it switched on. But before we check the light up feature, let's just have a look at some of the uh, other features on this. So you can push that pauldron up out of the way and flick that shoulder out like that. Um, and then it gives you more range of motion then and it doesn't clash. So that's a that's a cool feature. I think that they do that on the Iron Man as well. Obviously I've not got any Marvel stuff because I'm purely sticking to Star Wars at the minute. Um, and then these are all like kind of ratcheted. That is that is solid that. Absolutely solid. It's dead hard to move as well. Which is good. So they're going to be pretty much unmovable in that position in a good way so that it's not going to flop around. Looking ace. They twist around like that. Good good movement on the hands. I think that's just a normal peg in there, but um it's it's really well concealed. Looks amazing. Um and obviously he's, he twists at the middle. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make it go too far and do too mad stuff because I don't want to break it, but I think it just goes that far. Um, I don't want to twist it all the way around in case it snaps or something. <laughs> and then the legs, uh, you move these little pouches out of the way so you can, and then you can move, move his leg. Again, it's a decent range of movement that. Look at that. And then, and then the knee ratcheted again. That is, again, that is solid that. It is, it is quite difficult to move it so you know when you've got it posed it's not going anywhere it's not gonna I mean it might it might lose its rigidity if you keep changing it up but yeah impressed with that that is brilliant okay battery time so I'll pop that head off got me trusty wearer screwdriver and then we'll Insert said screwdriver into head. <laughs> it takes uh, three of the button batteries, which are probably going to last about three seconds when they're plugged in. But so I'll turn it round, pop the dome back on, and then turn it back around for the full effect. Wow, oh, yeah, that looks amazing. Again, it it looks it looks kind of orangey on camera, I think, but in in reality. It's like proper red. That <laughs> looks amazing. That is actually quite bright as well. That's going to look ace in the dark. Right, let's do the uh, the chest plate one. Same deal on here. Just unscrew that. Batteries in. Put that to on. And that just does that bit. So again, they're really like a deep kind of red colour. Um, looks brilliant I don't, just don't think it picks up that well on the camera especially in this lighting but so I've just spotted some on mine right whereas I've turned the battery off on the back but the lights are still on a little bit uh, so is that's full on and then off it's still lit a bit like a little bit of power <laughs> and if I take the batteries out fully out the back Obviously, then they've properly switched off. So it's almost like the on on off switch is slightly bit broken. Let me know in the comments whether you've got this on yours, whether it's just mine, a bit faulty. Um, but for now, I'll just have to take the bat one of the batteries out, or all or three of them, out fully, because I'm a bit worried that that'll just drain the batteries even quicker. So there we go, absolute epitome of a museum pose here, just straight up and down. Blaster on his leg, magnetised there. Um, I think this is going to be quite a divisive figure, to be honest, with the collecting community. I mean, I think it looks amazing. Uh, it's like the the build of it, it looks he's, he's solid, isn't he? I mean, look at this, look how solid he looks, and he's it's just I think it's really good. But um, I know a lot of possibly a lot of collectors are going to think he's probably a bit boring. He's not very posable, to be honest. Um, because they don't really do that much mad stuff in the in the program, do they? But 
Uh, I, I think it's, it's perfect. <laughs> yeah, whether we need two of them, I don't know. It'd be good to maybe flank Moff Gideon with one on the other side, but um, for the price, I don't know. I might just keep the one. But you never know. I might keep two. And you could maybe do a pose where he's just about to punch Mando in the face. <laughs> But yeah, I hope you like that quick look at the Dark Trooper. Um, stay tuned for more unboxings. I'll see you in the comments and see you in the next video. Take care.